What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here, another Dell Precision 490. This is a mini tower and I want to show you guys uh, upgrading the video card, memory, and a hard drive and a solid state drive. I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to move the side cover panel right here. And it's a pretty nice machine. It's, it's got a 750 watt power supply in here. So one hard drive install, install another one in here. And remove the regular clip right here to lift this up. And I got a dual Xeon processor in here, and so each run in a dual core. So each processor run dual core at 3 gigahertz. And it's got 4 gigs of memory in here. And I'm gonna add two more sticks, so we're gonna go up, uh, we're gonna go 8 gigs, so that's 2 gig per each slot. It's uh, ECC memory, not a desktop memory, guys. It's an ECC memory. And it's a uh, DDR2667. Again, DDR2667, it's an ECC uh, memory for like a server. And uh, so I'm going to add two more sticks. Show you guys how to do that. Let me zoom in the camera closer so you guys can see. I'm at more memory. So we got six memory, six gigs of memory. Now I'm gonna add two, one more stick. So now we got, you're gonna hear two clicks. That means secure each stick is installed properly. And so we got a total eight gigs. That's two gig per each slot. Eight gigs total. And now first, now we're gonna do is uh, upgrade the video card in here. And there's a little clip right here. Secure clip right here. You press on it to release it. The PCI bracket and uh, disconnect the six pin power for the video card right here. And you don't even have to upgrade the power supply because the power supply in here is 750 watts. It's pretty high quality in here, pretty powerful. And uh, you guys, uh, I'm going to go with uh, GeForce GTX 950. Or uh, this is overclocked edition. This takes six pin power connection. Or if you got, if you want to go with uh, Asus uh, right here. This is G4 GTX 950 and it doesn't require 6 pin power connection. Just consider it like a low power, low power consumption video card. And uh, this one, uh, the, the MSI G4 GTX 950, it's overclocked and it uh, takes more, uses more power. That's why it requires a 6 pin power connection to it. So, so let me go ahead and remove the video card. And. So, so here's the video card and does the require six pin power connection but the, the other video card I show you guys Asus does not require six pin power connection because it's overclocked edition so it uses more power yeah it's like a mini it fits uh, it's only show you guys uh, let me get a uh, you guys measure what the video card is how many inches it's it's a uh, pretty small it's actually about seven inches and you could probably fit in here the video card oh probably all around 10 inches in here more than 10 inches if you want the only problem is it's got only a six pin power connection and you probably can go another uh yet another connection a six pin is probably using a four pin adapter they sell four pin adapter right here to get a six pin and uh but yeah the video card you can install in here See right here, you can go as much as 10 inch if you want. Over 10 inches, you could do install right here. Around 10 inches, perfectly fine. And let's see, let's go ahead and remove the video card in here. There's a little clip right here in the bottom. You have to, the little clip right here. You see right here, the blue one? You have to press it down very gently to release the video card. Now, Install the new video card. There's going to be a PCI bracket because this is using two PCI slots right here. So remove the PCI bracket one right here so you can install the video card. So we just installed the video card. Now we can connect the 6 pin power connection to the video card. I just don't know which one you guys would like if you like the MSI or the Asus. Asus actually costs more for the video card. But I can't remember how much I paid for both of them. I just can't remember. But uh, 
But I got this one a little bit cheaper. But uh, this is a uh, required six power, six pin power connection. It's actually overclocked edition. But the Asus one does not require. The Asus does not require six pin power connections, and they both look like the same. But uh, they're both mini, great video cards. Or you can just go with the GTX uh, 960, or go with the GTX uh, 1050 Ti if you want to do that. So we're gonna clip it back in the secure bracket right here. So we install the video card and we install the memory in here. Now what we're gonna do is uh, close this up right here and we're gonna be upgrading the hard drive and the soul state drive in here. So let me get the other hard drive in here and I'm using a 72 RPM half terabyte hard drive. You can use any brand you want. But I just recommend going with the uh, Soul State Drive. It runs a lot cooler, a lot faster. And uh, so we installed another hard drive now. And I'm going to install the Soul State Drive. This is 2.5 inch. They sell this caddy online, but you don't even need the caddy. I'll show you guys what you need. Get a. Uh, you, you can watch my other video and you can see that I did a HP Elite, the tape I use, and I don't know if I can find it. Okay, so, but you don't even need the caddy to install the solid state drive. You can buy a two-sided tape and you can install it right here without the caddy, 2.5 inch. And let me go and show you guys, install the hard drive in here. So, Go ahead and get that. So we're going to install the caddy back here. And install it back. Just like that. Now we're going to connect the... Uh, yeah, I can't find guys the tape, the two-sided tape, but you can watch my HP Elite video, the gaming uh, the video I did, the HP Elite 8200, and I show you guys uh, how to do Soul State Drive without a caddy, because it's a tape, two-sided tape that you can just mount it right here, the Soul State Drive, you don't have to buy the plastic caddy for it. And uh, so now we're going to connect the uh, SATA cables right here for the Soul State Drive. and the power same with the hard drive here and the SATA cable here and that's about it so guys, we install a solid state drive upgrade, another hard drive, video card, and we upgrade the memory. This is for the Dell Precision 490. And just let me go ahead and close the cover up right here. And you guys have to go to NVIDIA. You guys have to go to website nvidia.com and install the, the, the latest drivers for the video card. Just choose which operating system you have and install the drivers and restart the computer so we'll configure your video card and just connect the monitor right here to the video card so you guys uh, this will be the end of the video thanks for watching bye